sort of. Maybe that's better. Good evening. I'm sorry. I know you're having such a great time. I hate interrupting everyone. Um, good evening. My name is Kelly Cartmill, and I'm the proud chair of the Tompkins County Chamber of Commerce Board. I first wanted to say welcome and that I think I speak on behalf of the entire chamber, maybe even Tompkins County, that we are happy to have you here in person doing this event, being able to network with one another once again. I also want to just say that this year has been extremely uh, challenging in one way, but very exciting for the chamber. If you haven't yet seen their new home at Brinley Street, you need to go check it out. It's it's so beautiful. Jerry, good job, wherever you are, I saw you in here. Um, and we are so happy for the chamber and CBB staff that they now have a new home and they definitely welcome you to come visit them. I want to also say that uh, I want to recognize uh, that amazing uh, staff and just thank them for all the work they did to get themselves to there at <laughs> that point. <laughs> yes, they need a big round of applause. Um, I do want to say on behalf of our board of directors that we do always have every year some members of our board that have to leave, sadly. And of course, if any of you want to join, you can see me after. Um, happy to sign you up for future board service. Um, we want to recognize um, some of our departing uh, board members. Uh, Karen Parks, she is retiring this month. Well, yes, so we're, well this, yeah, like now. Um, so we want to we wanna say congratulations and well deserved on her retirement. We want to thank Emily Russell, who has not only been a board member, but has stayed on as an ex officio board member beyond her term, which we greatly, greatly appreciate. So thank you, Emily. Uh, we want to thank Caleb Smith. He has served two full terms, and we are very grateful for his service. Yay, yay. And sadly, she's not here tonight, but we really wanted to recognize Lori Lynn. For any of you that don't know Lori Lynn, which would be pretty shocking, um, she uh, not only has been on the chamber board for multiple times, um, she, she literally is like a lifetime board service member, which is an amazing thing to say. And she is a chamber champion in our hearts. She has always gone, gone above and beyond for the chamber. And she promotes the chamber all the time to everyone I always hear her talking to. And we appreciate that so much. And so we want to recognize her, even though she couldn't be here tonight, and wanted to thank her for what she's done. So. I also want to thank uh, the remainder of our board members, new and existing, um, for their service, mentorship, and contributions throughout the year. And I would appreciate all of them to, you don't get to stand because we're not sitting, which I'm glad we're not sitting. Um, but if you could raise your hands and just be recognized, I would greatly appreciate everyone to be recognized. In theory, this counts as our board meeting for March. Annual, it's the annual meeting. We, we go both March board meeting and annual board meeting. And so if you haven't seen these kind of floating around, they're on multiple tables. Um, and hopefully you've had a chance to at least look through the annual report. If you don't, please take a copy with you. And um, the staff spends a long time putting them together. And so they definitely would appreciate you knowing all the hard work that is um, to port. You're going to have Thank you. Thank you. Um, 
So, all in favor? Aye. Okay. Any opposed? Not that I should have any of those. And so the motion carries. And one um, final comment, I just want to say that um, a much, most of you know, if you know who I am, that I work in the hotel industry. And so obviously here we are in the great Statler Hotel. And many of us in this industry have seen a very difficult couple years. And so for us, this warms our heart to see all these people mingling, talking, eating, drinking. This is like our bloodline. This is what we like live on. And so multiple of them have mentioned to me, oh my gosh, there's so many people in the lobby. I love it, I love it. We love the people. So we appreciate that and we wanna keep that up. So we thank the chamber for hosting this and we hope that you all enjoy your evening. I want to invite um, Sarah Barden up. She is the member relationship manager, and she's going to start with our first award. Hi, everyone. Hi. <laughs> Amazing. OK, I have the honor of presenting our first award. Um, and this award will go to someone that I've worked with both in my chamber capacity and in previous roles, so I'm really excited to um, offer this up. So our first award is Entrepreneur of the Year, and the criteria for this is a Tompkins Chamber startup or existing member business in good standing that has demonstrated the following characteristics. Significant growth, new job creation, launch of new products and or expansion into new markets, addition of new businesses and locations to the business portfolio, or other characteristics demonstrating entrepreneurial spirit and noteworthy accomplishments. I will say in my role prior to the chamber, I had the pleasure of working with our award winner. And one of the things that I saw firsthand um, when they served as one of our restaurant partners on the food tours that I led was uh, that they are a really effective delegator who is able to attract really talented staff to their team and then give them direction and give them the opportunity to execute. Um, and having an entrepreneur who is able to have that sort of high vision and uh, be able to uh, empower other people to work in their team right alongside them is really powerful. Um, the other thing that I saw is that our award winner has a really clear sense of um, vision and is aware of what um, he and their, his team are capable of and knows how to go from the idea and execute it all the way through. So I'm very pleased to offer the Entrepreneur of the Year Award to Kevin Sullivan of ITH Hospitality. Congratulations to Kevin Sullivan of ITH Hospitality, the Tompkins County Chamber of Commerce 2023 Entrepreneur of the Year. Kevin has over 20 years of experience in the hospitality industry and started his first food business, Nocturnal Confections, at just 21 years old. Delivering cookies to hungry college students out of his friend's 300-square-foot bakery, it was a small start with potential to grow. Since then, he has operated dozens of area restaurants and has leaned into alternative models to grow an expansive presence in the Ithaca community. Kevin currently manages seven brick-and-mortar locations, featuring brands including Luna-inspired street food, Catering by Luna, Ithaca Ghost Kitchen, Beacon Events and Catering, Jack's College Town Grill, Pronto Craft Pizza and Artful Salads, Purity Ice Cream, and his newest restaurant, Revelry Yards. Kevin's creativity, energy, and people-first approach to hospitality have earned him not only business, but a following. Recruiting and developing a diverse team, often cross-trained to staff multiple locations, allows ITH Hospitality to adapt quickly to overcome the many challenges restaurants face. This team is the heart and soul of Kevin's business, with dozens of long-term employees who continue to drive the business forward. 
Thank you, Kevin, for using your creative energy to redefine the culinary scene of Tompkins County. That video made us look very successful. We don't always feel that way. <laughs> uh, you know, we're in, a, we're in a tough business, and it's been a tough, uh, a, a tough long stretch. But, um, you know, one of the things, the uh, reason I keep opening businesses here in Thompson's County and Ithaca um, really just revolves around this community. It's a community that focuses on our local relationships. I look around this room, and there are probably 100 people that I've done business with in one way or another. And um, a lot of favors uh, through the hard times, a lot of help through the good times, big connections. And um, you know, between that and uh, just an absolutely incredible team, we're somehow continuing to grow even through a pandemic and uh, into 2023. So, um, you know, just want to say thank you to everybody that I uh, know in here and everyone who I'll meet at some point here soon, through the wonderful connections the chamber's making, and um, hopefully our uh, our local economy here continues to be the uh, hustle and bustle of Central New York. So each award winner, hi everyone, um, each award winner is going to receive an award from us and also a proclamation from Assemblymember Anna Kellis who couldn't be with us. So um, we're going to be handing that to Kevin now. All right. Well, great to see you all. Um, just want to echo the comments. Um, we've been doing in-person events again for quite a while now, but it still feels special um, and great anytime we can get all of you in a room. Um, I just want to, um, I guess, echo Kelly's appreciation that we're all here at the Statler, but also I think most of us probably haven't been in this room since the incredible renovations um, that have been done here. So Arthur and the team of the Statler, um, great job with the space and um, with putting out such a wonderful spread for us this evening. Thank you, everyone. Um, for anyone I don't know, hi, I'm Jennifer Tavares. I'm the president of the chamber, and we're excited to um, have less speeches for you this evening. So um, thanks for bearing with us for just a few more minutes while we um, do this component of the program. I know it might not seem like it, but everyone talking, it's actually a little bit loud up here. Um, so I'm just going to ask you for a few more minutes of your attention, and then we'll take a break. Um, I have the good fortune of um, providing an award recognition to someone that I consider to be a friend and a mentor um, and someone who's really made such a huge impact on many of us in this room and our community at large. Um, the Noel Dash Key Person of the Year was a few years ago named after Noel Dash. Um, how many people here knew who Noel Dash was or got to work with or benefit from Noel's service? Um, Noel was a community leader who had significant impact on the Ithaca and Tompkins County community over several decades. He was an engineer, a veteran, a town supervisor, a giver, and a doer. He was quiet, patient, respectful, and always acted with integrity, never with any intention for recognition. The Chamber was one of several organizations that benefited from Noel's leadership, intelligence, heart, and engineer's pension for quality. The Noel Dash Key Person of the Year will be awarded annually to a community member or key contributor to the Chamber who personifies service above self, demonstrates their commitment to the success of the business community and the community at large through their volunteerism, service in public office or leadership to a committee or board and other substantial com contributions in their role. Um, and so in that very spirit, I'm very pleased to present the Key Person of the Year award to Greg Hartz. Um, I'm sure you all know, if you haven't heard, Greg is also trying to retire. It might be a good time to put submit your objections um, to Greg, I don't know, you might be able to persuade him to stick around a while. Um, but he's been a good friend to the chamber for a very long time and so many of us in this room. Um, and now we're going to play a little recognition video for Greg. 
Congratulations to Greg Hartz, the Tompkins County Chamber of Commerce 2023 Noel Desch Key Person of the Year. Greg is retiring this spring after 40 years in community banking, including 21 with Tompkins Financial. Having grown up in Ithaca and graduated from Cornell University, his commitment to our community's growth and success is rooted in his personal and professional values. Greg has made a tremendous impact, not only in his role at Tompkins Financial, but throughout our community. He has given generously of his time to serve on boards and committees across multiple sectors, and the ripple effects of his service can be felt in every corner of Tompkins County. He has served as board chair for the Legacy Foundation, the Tompkins County Chamber of Commerce, Challenge Workforce Solutions, Ithaca Area Economic Development, and the United Way of Tompkins County, where he's also served as campaign chair. Greg currently serves on the executive committees of Cayuga Health System and Ithaca Area Economic Development. He has also served on the Cornell University Council, the Dyson Advisory Council, and the Cornell Community Relations Committee as well as on the event committee for the Racker Rivals Big Red Fundraiser. And central to everything Greg does is his family. For his decades of service and for sharing his passion for the Tompkins County community with us all, we are honored to recognize Greg Hartz as the Noel Desch Key Person of the Year. I am truly honored to receive this award. And I know that sounds a little cliche, but I am. And um, I did know Noel. I knew Noel very, very well. And it was a great description of who he was. So that has um, added meaning. It is, we are all blessed to live in this community. Um, I love this community, have spent most of my life here. And um, I truly feel that it is what it is because of the people in this room and the things that you choose to do and the places you choose to get involved. So um, my compliments to all of you for being volunteers and getting involved and doing the things that you do because every little piece of that is what makes a big difference. So um, thank you for the award. There isn't anything that I've done that hasn't been made possible by the great work of everybody else. I am blessed with a wonderful wife and family, great colleagues and great friends who, who have been around everything that we've been able to do. So I say thank you for the award, but I mean thank you to everybody who really it represents. So thank you so much. All right, everyone. Thanks for your wonderful attention. We're gonna give you another break to eat more, drink more, be more merry together, do some networking. We're gonna come back together in just under an hour for our next set of awards. Thanks.
if you're listening. to see you. I'm Allie Evans. I'm at Food Net Meals on Wheels. It's great to see all of you. Thanks for supporting the chamber. Thanks for sticking this out. And thanks for doing what you do for our community. It's really, really important. So thank you very much. I'm excited to present the Nonprofit of the Year Award to an organization that has demonstrated sound organizational or business practices, growth and capacity or services as an organization, commitment to the community and constituents, a major project or initiative which demonstrated community impact, a nonprofit partner, service partner, provider, which helps the chamber increase its impact on the community and service to our members. Pretty big, huh? The organization that we get to recognize is a special organization that has literally raised hundreds of our community's children. And thanks to an engaged board, skilled executive leader, and a qualified and compassionate staff, this organization continues to make differences in the lives of families and children. And a fun fact, if you track the success based on years of service, this staff has over 685 years of combined childcare experience. That's pretty amazing. So, The nonprofit of the year is Ithaca Community Child Care Center. So we're going to watch a video. Congratulations to the Ithaca Community Child Care Center, the Tompkins County Chamber of Commerce 2023 Not for Profit of the Year. IC3 has been providing quality child care in our community since 1976. It offers care for children from 8 weeks to 10 years old and has a team of experienced, professional, nurturing teachers who help cultivate a lifelong love of learning. IC3 offers a truly child-centered approach, providing a safe environment where children can explore and experience hands-on learning, and its innovative continuity of care program is recognized by New York State as a model program. IC3 has recently completed a large construction project that included over 4,000 square feet of renovation and nearly 7,000 square feet of expansion, adding 131 new spaces for children. This project has allowed IC3 to grow its capacity and its programs, enabling it to serve even more families in Tompkins County. This includes offering half-day toddler and half-day pre-K programs, moving its school-age after-school program and summer camp on-site, and collaborating with TST BOCES for their Early Childhood Career Tech program to be on-site at IC3. IC3 continues to invest in its team and strengthen its organizational culture and is proud to have many staff who have been there for over 20 years in a field that typically has a very high turnover. The resilient team at IC3 has weathered a pandemic, an ever-changing employment environment, and a large construction project and has never stopped prioritizing the care of our next generation. Thank you, IC3, for making the biggest impact for the littlest ones in our community. It's such an honor to receive this award on behalf of IC3. Um, I've been there for 24 years, just last week. <laughs> and I immediately knew when I started working there that that was my home, my home away from home. And um, you know, when I walk into the doors every day, I'm excited to be there in good times and bad. It's definitely been a tough go the last few years. Uh, we have uh, a, a whole tribe behind us at IC3 to care for our little ones in the community. And um, I'm really honored to stand up here and accept the award, but it really isn't me. It is the whole entire staff of, I think, 73 on payroll. And we have a small, a small portion of staff and board here. And, um, it's been really exciting tonight to walk through this room and talk to people that are current parents or past parents 
Um, our impact has been huge through this community, and we couldn't do what we do without the amazing people that work for us, the parents that trust us to care for their most precious little ones, um, and the community that supports us, and our board. Our board supports us through thick and thin, top down, which makes it easy for us to give the best care we can to children. So thank you. On behalf of IC3, we are so excited to get this award. I'd like to bring everybody else this year up to partake in the picture. <laughs> I'd like to invite up Peggy Coleman, who is our VP Tourism and Community Relations and Director of the Convention and Visitors Bureau. Hi, everyone. Thanks for sticking around and for coming out tonight. Um, I'm here to present the Howard Kogan Award. Uh, Howard Kogan Award is given in the name of the creator of the Ithaca's Gorgeous Slogan and is designed to recognize leaders in the community that have helped to create programs and tourism related product that strengthen our reputation as a vibrant and unique destination. It is awarded not annually, but based on merit. To leaders who have had a particular impact on our local tourism program or our tourism economy. And in the same way that Howard Kogan was extremely generous by not trademarking the Ithaca's gorgeous slogan, um, our award recipient is extremely generous in his work that he has done on behalf of this community and the Downtown Ithaca Alliance. When you look at our downtown commons and you look at the growth, the redesign, the new conference center that's coming, the, I don't know, it seems like a hundred times that we've applied for a downtown revitalization initiative, but he still keeps going. Um, there's no better partner to our community than Gary Ferguson. The Howard Kogan Award is presented to Gary Ferguson. Congratulations to Gary Ferguson, recipient of the Tompkins Chamber and Visit Ithaca 2023 Howard Kogan Tourism Award. We recognize Gary for his 24 years of service to our community as the Executive Director of the Downtown Ithaca Alliance. Under Gary's leadership, the DIA has led numerous efforts to strengthen and revitalize our downtown, expand economic impact through tourism, and drive developmental projects that have quite literally shaped downtown Ithaca into what it is today. During his tenure, Gary helped facilitate the highly anticipated Commons Rebuild Project, which was completed in 2015. This expansive project breathed new life into the Ithaca Commons with a carefully crafted new layout and extensive surface and utility repairs. Throughout his career, Gary has focused on attracting and supporting new business growth in downtown Ithaca from some of our most beloved small businesses, such as Simeon's, Breathe, and One World Market, to larger development projects such as the Marriott, Canopy, Tompkins Trust Company, and Herald Square. He has also been instrumental in moving the new Ithaca Downtown Conference Center project forward. Currently in construction, this $34 million project will bring Ithaca's status as a travel destination to a new level, bolstering its business and tourism industries and all those supported by it. Thank you, Gary, for dedicating yourself throughout your career to the development and progress of downtown Ithaca and its business community. Well, thank you very much. It's it's a it's a great honor to uh, 
to win an award in the name of Howard Kogan. Um, tourism is so, so important to our economy. I was thinking about this, you know, our, tourism has been with us almost for the 200 years of our existence as a, as, as a community. It's what brought people here in the first place and has been sustaining us ever since. And it's really an honor and a privilege to be able to work to help advance our community, to make it a better place for people to come and visit and obviously for people to, to, to live. So I really appreciate that. I, I, my work only happens because there's so many people who help me make it happen uh, uh, and give me that uh, pl give me that opportunity to do the work that I do. My wife Lisa, uh, our, our, our staff and our, our board at the DIA, and all the community partners and people who have you know, rolled up their sleeves and made all those beautiful pictures happen. So um, on, on behalf of all of them and behalf of the community, thanks so much, I really appreciate that. Great. Thanks, everyone, for your attention. We have one more award this evening. Um, congratulations, Gary and um, Sherry and your team and all of our award winners. Um, so now we have the Distinguished Business of the Year Award, which each year is identified as a major business or employer demonstrating investment in their business through job growth, physical expansion or capital project, significant impact on the community, resiliency over time, and a demonstrated history to, in and commitment to um, the community and also the chamber and our, our broader mission as an organization. Um, <clears throat> our team and, and some other folks who nominated this award winner are really grateful for the opportunity to honor and recognize Gimme Coffee um, as our Distinguished Business of the Year. Um, Gimme Coffee has been through a really incredible few years, as so many businesses have, um, and really had to, to dig really deep and figure out how to transform um, their entire business model, completely change their business structure, slowly uh, restructure everything and gradually reopen their doors um, to the community. And, and what they've done is really um, nothing short of incredible and probably a miracle if you ask them. Um, so I just want to let the video play and then we'll invite them up to accept their award. Congratulations to Gimme Coffee, the Tompkins County Chamber of Commerce 2023 Distinguished Business of the Year. Gimme Coffee is a staple in the Tompkins County community, but what many people don't know is how close we came to losing this beloved business altogether. When Gimme's founder decided to sell the business in 2019, he didn't have a clear succession plan. He appointed two co-managing directors to run Gimme Operations and steward the transition to an employee-owned business. Two months later, the COVID-19 pandemic hit. With nearly all of Gimme's locations needing to abruptly close down and 85% of its employees being laid off, it was unclear if they would ever be able to reopen again. But Gimme's employees were eager to explore a co-op model and worked diligently over two and a half years to assume ownership of the business and transform it into a worker-owned cooperative. Which was finalized in July 2022. Today, over 50% of Gimme's employees are employee owners. They have since reopened all five Gimme Coffee locations preserving these much-loved and essential community spaces, while prioritizing the well-being and dignity of staff throughout the whole transition. The cooperative model increases employees' ability to have a voice in the business, and when Gimme makes a profit, employee owners receive those profits based on their hours worked for the year. The new structure reinforces Gimme's dedication to serving sustainable specialty coffee, to providing living wage jobs, and to keeping money in our local economy. Thank you, Gimme Coffee, for serving as a model for your equitable, ethical operation and resource stewardship.
Not only do they offer great spaces for uh, meetings or for getting incredible beverages or baked goods, but I'm pretty sure that's most people's favorite like remote work location. Um, now you're providing so many great spaces for people to um, do incredible things in our community. So um, congratulations. I want to invite Kate Smith, who is the president of the board of directors, up to say a few words. Thank you, Jennifer. So um, I'm Kate Smith. I'm the current uh, president of our board of directors. And while Gimme Coffee, as you know, has been around in the Ithaca area for the last 20, almost three years, we're honored and humbled to receive this recognition in our first year as an employee-owned cooperative. So we'd like to thank the Tompkins Chamber of Commerce. They've given us so much support in the last year. Um, also, our valued customers who weathered the early pandemic with us through all of our many iterations as we tried to reopen. Um, they continue to entrust us with their business so that we can pro provide them with uh, the highest level of products, uh, service, and expertise while we evolve into this new business model. Uh, most importantly, this award is a testament to the incredible team that we have the privilege of working with every day. Uh, their hard work, creativity, and commitment to making a new company model are the only reasons why we're up here today. Um, we're gonna continue to strive to redefine what it means to work in hospitality and production. Uh, we're gonna create a higher standard of meaningful work in which coffee systems can thrive. And we look forward to the future as an employee-owned cooperative and lastly, to our fellow business owners, um, if you're debating selling or closing your establishment, we urge you to consider employee ownership as a mutually beneficial alternative to shutting your doors because that's what we have. So along with my fellow board members and employee owners and everyone who works at Gimme Coffee, I thank you once again for this incredible honor. pictures are much better than Thank you. Um, thank you everyone for sticking around and for coming to share this evening with us. Um, I know we trimmed our speeches down to almost nothing aside from these awards. I know you're all really sad, so I just have about 12 minutes of remarks. Just kidding. Um, <laughs> so I get to close out the evening for us. Um, really, really, it is so great to have you all here. Um, our team couldn't do what we do for this evening or anything that we do all year long without a tremendous group of partners um, and sponsors. Um, we had a lot of event sponsors. Um, they shared um, in sponsoring our tables throughout the evening. Um, also Tompkins Community Bank, Yuga Health is our presenting sponsors for this evening. Thank you to those folks. Um, Sharaba Walker also was our award sponsor this evening. So just want a round of applause to all of those folks. Hopefully you saw the slideshow going earlier. Um, also without our production team, which was Well Said Media, um, the wonderful videos, and also Steve Weed Productions, um, the folks in the back helping us run the show um, this evening. Thanks to them for all of their support. Um, Fred Simmons, who's a small business member from Safeguard, um, did our awards this evening, and Eva Bleakley from Businesses Blooming did the flowers. If you're a sponsor or an award winner and there are flowers at your table, please feel free to take those home with you, um, in case you didn't know that. Um, thanks again to the team at the Statler. Um, they put together an incredible evening for us, so we're really grateful for everything that they've done. 
Um, we have a lot of board members, volunteers, ambassadors, um, and partners too, who just help us, not just tonight again, but throughout the whole year. So thank you to all of you for your wonderful support. Um, and our team, um, not absolutely not uh, least, even though I'm mentioning them last, a lot of them are standing over here. Several of them are downstairs. Um, everyone on the team, if you could raise your hand, over here, over there. Um, I know I, any of you who come to events where I recognize the team, I know I say this often, but I really, really mean it, and many of you aren't at everything, so you can't hear it enough times, but they really, really believe in you and everything you do in this community, and they believe in the mission of our organization, and they truly are here to serve the community and serve our members um, in, in a really sincere and deep way, and I'm so grateful for them all the time. Mary, our event and program manager, great job. This was a phenomenal new format. Big shout out to Mary. And finally, we do hope that we don't have to pick up any of the copies of the annual report that are here. So please bring them with you. Please grab one on your way out the door. We will be sending them electronically, but we would love to you to take a, a printed copy and share it with some other folks at your organization or business. Um, and thanks again for being here. Wonderful evening. We're here until 8.30 if you want to network some more. Um, thanks again, everyone. Have a great night.